Hello everyone, FunshineX here, and this is day four of the Computercraft Battleship build. Um, it's been a small, well, actually a lengthy break. I was out of town for a little bit and had some other things to take care of, but uh, I'm back to give you an update on the map. Um, today I've been working on a few things. Um, you can see below there there's a, a makeshift boat. I haven't finalized the boat designs yet, so I just put together a silly little thing there just to make sure that my printing algorithm was working. That boat was completely built by this turtle there. I'll show you that. And uh, you can notice I've now got both sides um, done. So both players have their uh, world. I've not done the ceiling on player two yet, so I'll have to do that. Um, but yeah, so now we've got the entire play field here. And you'll notice both players have their command center. And then I've started to work on the server room. Uh, this is what I'm going to start with today. So here's my main server. Um, I probably could have made them all wireless and communicate that way, but I wanted to just kind of use a few different methods just to, uh, you know, I don't know, for fun. <laughs> so uh, the front two are the bomber turtles. And at the beginning of the game, when they boot up, they're going to send a message to the server wirelessly and say, hey, I'm player one's bomber and I'm player two's bomber. We're ready to go. And as soon as the game is started, they will go ahead and um, go move forward, grab some dynamite out of the chests, and then they're going to fly off and kind of hover around the center of the map so that they are ready to go to whatever square the player selects them to go drop a TNT bomb. Um, so they'll go off like that. The other five turtles are the um, printer turtles, and they're going to print the... Um, uh, the, the battleships onto the map. So they're going to just kind of sit here um, until the players select, you know, I wanted to put my battleship in F7 or something like that. So uh, when they start up, um, they're just going to um, check to see if they're the player 1 or player 2, and then they're going to submit a signal out the right or the left, and that will go to the server, and it will know that they're ready. So if we look at the server interface here, let me actually restart it. Oops. Um, so here in the front screen, I need a splash screen. So if anyone's good at ASCII art, I guess we'll kind of do a, another sur a submission, you know, a user uh, submitted um, art here. So if you guys are great at ASCII art, submit something to me. It's got to fit in a normal normal computer craft screen. Uh, and yeah, so it needs to say Battleship, something like that. But then we come here, and this is kind of like the initialization screen. It says, you know, right now both the command centers are offline, and all the turtles are offline as well. And as you see, if we go ahead and, like, uh, I need to write a startup script, but say this one ran his startup script. Uh, he submits that message to the server, and the server now knows that the bomber turtle for player one is online. And we can do the same thing here. And they're both online. And then these guys... Uh, I have them all started already, so you'll see the redstone output. Uh, let me get a... No, that's not bundled cable. I guess you can't see. Um, but just trust me, they're all on right now because I've run the startup on them. So just enabling one here just really quick. And you can see that they're not working. Okay, but anyway, as those start up, they'll submit a signal. Um, I could probably do this. There we go. Now they're all, they've all submitted their signal and they're all online. So at this point, the uh, computer server would be still be waiting for the command centers to say that they're online. As soon as they are, then it would say, okay, you're ready to start the game. When in which point it would choose a random player to go first. And both players would, um, well, at first select where they want to place their ships. And the server would then handle sending the message that gets from the command center out to the, uh, the printer turtles. So it'll say, you know, go build, blah, 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 somewhere. And I might need to make these wireless turtles now that I think about it. Because I'm need to tell them where to go build and what to build. Yeah, so we'll update that. Uh, but they've got plenty of iron blocks here to grab on the way. 
Okay, so that's that's kind of the server room so far. Um, oh yeah, how they do that, uh, determine what player at there. These are both the same, uh, exact same program. They're both called Bomber because they're the, the same turtle. And so to determine which one they are, um, this one, it ha they have a blue and a red wool and it will just compare up uh, to blue or red. So if it gets compares up when the blue and then it knows it's player one if it compares up on the red then it knows it's player two same thing with all these guys to know what player they are and then to know which uh, actual printer they are it just compares one of these slots to get either white orange magenta or light blue and yellow just assumes he's uh, yellow if none of the others match so that way all these turtles share the exact same code but when they start up it's really easy for them to determine what player and what position they're in in the line. Okay, so let's look at this guy. Uh, this code is my 3D printing code. Uh, you'll see I have a an array of arrays of arrays <laughs> in here, or table of a table. Uh, so each string represents a, a row of the ship and then each you know table of those rows would represent a layer so you can see that row is this bottom layer here in the water put them all together and you get one layer and then each uh, table of layers is then makes the complete ship so this ship isn't really an, an accurate you know ship I just wanted to make sure it was able to print you know different things so I kind of made it up really quick and so it's pretty easy um, it uses the ipairs function in Lua to um, get back all the uh, the tables uh, you know all the mem uh, what you say all the uh, values of the table I guess and it just goes you know iterates through each layer iterates through each um, row and it reaches through each position and it finds out if it's equal to an X then that means to draw place down pretty easy so it just does like a sweeping back and forth and I'll then show you that um, it can sh it knows which direction it's going so it can go either turn left or turn right at the end of the row and then when it gets done it moves up and starts all over again so let's go ahead and run one of this. What did I call this one? I think it's just B. So you watch him, he'll just go. Oh, this, <laughs> this boat's going to be floating. And it might be over there. So this makes it really easy once I've decided on the final boat designs. I can just um, enter them in, in that table format. And no matter what I enter, the turtle should be able to build it. So all the. Uh, all the building turtles will need to know is um, where to go and which ship model to build. All right, so he's done with the first layer. He'll get to that corner. He'll go up, make it 180, and then he'll start building again. Pretty cool. And again, once I'm completely done with the map, I will make all of the code available so you guys can look at it, as well as the map if you want to play it. All right, so I'm just going to make this a quick 10-minute update. Um, I haven't been live streaming. I, I guess I don't enjoy live streaming as much as some people do. Uh, I think I would if I had more people online. But a lot of times, especially when I'm coding, I just kind of want to be have my music turned up loud and <laughs> not worry about responding to people's chat and that kind of thing. Or when I make a typo and someone goes, don't, 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 I'm just like, I know, it's just a typo, I'll fix it. <laughs> so... So I'm probably not going to live stream this after all. Um, but anyway, I'll keep making these updates as I make progress. And if you guys have questions or suggestions, feel free to add them in the comments. This has been Funshine X for Computer Craft Battleship. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.